Breaking overnight, more gunfire in Chicago after an already violent weekend. As of this morning, 28 people have been shot since Friday evening. Six people have been killed. CBS 2's Susanna Song is live in the West Lawn neighborhood on the scene of the most recent shooting. Hi, Susanna. Hey, Susanna. Hey, good morning, Aaron and Mike. Police are investigating a homicide here at 59th and Springfield. They say a man was found shot in the head in the driver's seat of the car. Take a look at the video. Police say they responded to a call of shots fired around uh, 2 this morning. And inside the car, a red Chrysler PT Cruiser, they found a man. Uh, and around that car, they found shell casings from a rifle. This comes on the heels of a violent weekend. Police say 28 people were shot since Friday evening, six fatally. A 40-year-old man was shot in the leg overnight during a shooting on Lake Shore Drive. Police say a car pulled up next to his at a stoplight and started shooting. He is in stable condition. Early yesterday morning, a teenage girl was shot as she stood on a porch in Bridgeport. Police say she was shot in the head and stomach, and she is in critical condition this morning. This happened a block or two from Superintendent Eddie Johnson's home. This all comes less than a week after the Chicago Crime Fighters Conference, where police chiefs from all over the country came to town to learn from Chicago police because of their successes last year on reducing crime. Ironically, this weekend takes away from any of that good publicity. I should also mention a five-year-old girl was shot in the arm in a drive-by shooting over the weekend. She is in stable condition. As for the homicide that's, that happened behind me, police say the victim, the man who was shot, is a documented gang member. Reporting live in West Lawn, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. All right, thanks so much, Susanna.